Welcome back to KG Gaming, guys. And today we are playing Far Cry Primal. We're literally cave bros, except we're alone and we don't have anybody else to play with. But anyways, we are picking up where we left off last episode, which I just, um, I think I just beat this guy to death, but that's all fair game because he tried to beat me to death first. Our objective right now is to find some like green plants and take back to this chick that just got mauled by a tiger. So let's go on back home and something crazy is probably going to happen on the way back. Lock that turtle. Apparently these are dangerous or something. I don't understand. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't think I, I have like a few arrows on there. Oh, let's see if it go then. So let's say you kill a turtle. You just gotta shoot it in the head. Cool. Apparently my pack's full. I don't even know what to do with it all. But yeah, let's actually craft a little bit. Did I just throw a rock? What was that? Let's do some crafting. So I don't, I can't upgrade my bow. I apparently can't upgrade my club. I'll be honest, guys, don't really know how you can upgrade a club. I feel like it's about as simple as it can be. I can light it on fire though. I do need arrows, but I don't have enough for a quiver. What is a D-hole skin? That just sounds mean. If I can kill two more of those, I think that's like the weird hyena looking things. I can get a quiver. I gotta kill two boar skins to get a nut bag. Oh, I can upgrade skills what extra health give it to me my pack what dude i'm new to this game i know nothing about this yeah that's fine let's just go collect some more stuff lock these big green mushrooms i'm sure they can't be dangerous target acquired is that a pig oh my goodness we're going hunting now oh my goodness eat that eat that you little dog what are you going to do about it you little dog oh bet is this a d-hole this is a d-hole i've only got to kill one more of these i just don't want to die here is that another d-hole get to the ground d-hole i'm gonna take this boar i don't know what killed it but i'm gonna take it and i'm not gonna feel sorry about it one bit it's kind of scaring me these pigs are is that another pig Oh, snap. He acts mad. Oh! Oh! All I got's a club. Oh, my goodness. That's a mammoth. Where'd my pig go? Because that pig had all my arrows. Like, literally every arrow I had to my name was stuck in the back of that pig. So, I'm chasing it down. I'm tracking this dang pig now. Oh, bet. Here we go. See, I literally have, like, three arrows in this guy. Let's get up here and... <coughs> Do some crafting. <gasps> there goes another pig! Oh my goodness, should I shoot it? I'm gonna attempt to. One right into the head to kill it. Well, I sure thought it would, didn't I? <gasps> oh, bet. It's dead. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is literally National Geographic. Oh, as we see here, we have natural prey and natural predators. The prey is going after the prey. I mean, the predator's going, I gotta get closer. You don't see this type of interaction every day. When you see it, you really gotta make the best of it and record what you can. Oh, there we go. Oh, and the takedown. Oh, wow. Wow. That is nature. Welcome to this week's episode of Discovering Earth. Oh yeah, I gotta go get the pig I just shot. Then we're gonna go down there and steal the D-holes pig. Let's see what we can craft right now. Uh, don't have enough to do that. Don't have enough to do that. I do have enough to do this, so let's stink and do it. I have enough to do this, so let's stink and do it. How big, how big's the map? Oh my goodness, this is a big old map. Not hardly discovered any of it yet. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is crazy. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get on back to this old lady because she stinking got wrecked by the tiger in last episode and we do need to get these leaves back to her because if I don't, she's literally going to die. You know what? I will literally be the only human left on Earth because right now, it's just me, her, and a bunch of people who literally are trying to eat us which are also humans. Hey, 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 welcome back to my crib. As you can see, this is my crib. It's nothing too crazy, nothing too big. It is actually very big. It is extremely spacious. We got it for a pretty cheap price of uh, finding it. We got a really big cave over there, another big cave over here, and guess what? <laughs> we even have a fire. It's pretty sweet. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. We'll catch you guys next time. I'm just kidding, guys. The video's not over. But we do gotta give this chick her, her minerals or something. All right, so here's my next mission, and then there's another mission. Long story short, I'm not playing a mission because I wanna go explore the world and shoot some more D-hole. I wanna get a spear, okay? Is that too much to ask? I want a spear. Show me an animal. Show me an animal. I'm ready to stink and take it out. These goats are easy money, baby. I wish I could throw a knife one, but I just don't know how to do that yet. Oh, okay, apparently I just did. How close do I gotta get before I can throw a knife a goat? <laughs> Apparently really close. I'm gonna chase it down though. It ain't getting away from me. Wow. That thing is like not dying at all. But here's another goat. I guess I can scavenge. Not really sure. I'll take it. Whatever I can get, I'll take. Ah, my favorite. 
What? Not gonna lie, we're doing pretty good in the open world of 10,000 BC. Not only am I surviving, I'm thriving. Whoa, now. What y'all doing? You better stay back. I'll put an arrow through you. Hey, I said stay back. Oh, I just, I just, dang. We gotta keep our eyes open. There's someone else, there's something else hunting out here besides us. I'm killing it. Dude, he had too big of a rack to pass up. I know this is 10,000 BC. I should be hunting for food. But listen, I've played Hunter Call of the Wild too much to pass up a rack like that. That might be a diamond. Oh, snap. There's a mammoth, dude. I'll be honest with you. I do not think that this arrow can do anything to that mammoth. On the last episode, it literally took four cave bros to take down one small mammoth. So do I think this arrow is going to do anything to that mammoth? No, I don't. Just help my odds a little bit. I'm going uh, to set it on fire. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh! Um, okay, note to self, don't mess with the best. Sleep until nightfall. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. What's the fire doing? Is it hot? Oh dang, I'm on fire again. How do I put myself out? Anyways, let's go hunting again. Maybe this time I won't try to, you know, die. All right, boys, check this out. We're back in the mammoth woods. Oh my goodness. Look at how much detail they put into that mammoth. Anyways, from what we learned, like, I don't know, like ten, five minutes ago, don't attack a mammoth, okay? You can't do it. But that was a full grown mammoth. Here, we have a juvenile mammoth. And it's alone. The perfect scenario if I wanted to kill one. However, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not confident in my abilities to, uh, you know, kill, kill one of these elephants. I mean mammoths. Because of that, we're just not going to. We're going to pass it up. We're not going to mess with it too much. We're just going to go around it. Well, one thing I do know, it's uh, going to be pretty easy to kill a mammoth whenever I get the, you know, capabilities. But we are going to go up here to this little campfire. Apparently, I have to uh, <coughs> eradicate some cave bros that uh, actually aren't bros. They're actually just cave not bros. We're going up here, and apparently, I got to steal their campfire. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but uh, I don't know. We got to do what we got to do. Uh oh. Whoa! Back up! Oh my goodness, give me my club! Give me my club! Oh my goodness, did he kill me? Hit that thing with your club! That pig just came up, tried to start something. I gotta go make a club now. Broke them all over those pigs' heads. Ah, let's just craft me like two. If I break more than two clubs, I've done something. What keeps killing all these pigs? I've not killed that many pigs. I literally have to kill these people and then light it on fire. Apparently, there's nobody home. Well, that's good. I don't have to kill anybody. Well, let me get my fire, my fire stick. Why did I have to throw that? Why am I throwing everything? All right. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is some kind of animal way over there. Also, I just got attacked by a bird. Don't really understand that one. And I hear some people screaming. What's going on over here, boys? Whatever that thing over there was is whatever this right here. Is that just a wolf? Oh, bet. I just killed a wolf. Hey, I'll take it. What is going on down here? We're in the middle of a civil war. Who are the people in green? Are the green the good people, I guess? I'm going to take them out, though. Bet, 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 bet. I don't really know what happened, but it did. It just happened. I'm gonna be honest with you. I like this game. This is pretty fun. What is that? No way. No way. Did an eagle just take a goat? Okay, dude, that's that's next level stuff right there. Oh my goodness. That is a massive animal, whatever that is. Dude, I don't know what that is, but it has massive antlers. I'm gonna try to kill it. I said, I'm gonna light you on fire, brother. Flaming elk, huh? How you like that? We'll cook our food before we eat it. Let's see if it dies. If that thing don't die, then game recognize game. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I'm going to do about that. that. That animal totally just booked it. I lit that thing on fire, and he did not care at all. Are these good guys or bad guys? Definitely bad. They keep screaming for water or something. I'm not going to lie, guys. This game's kind of scary. Uh. Uh. I'll set you on fire. Oh, yeah, eat that one time. I'll set you on fire. That's what I gotta say, swamp bear. Stinking bear comes at me. I just stinking throw a club at him, set him on fire one time. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that is stinking deadly effective. Oh, my goodness. There's some guy again. Wait, maybe he's a friendly. Are you a friendly? Are you a friendly? Are you? Okay. Wow, good talk, man. Thanks Thanks a lot. What a, what a guy. Listen, here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna go after a mammoth one more time and see what we can do. If this this thing doesn't try to kill one first. Listen, if you want the smoke, I got it for you. I got the smoke. I got the stink of smoke. 
Eat the smoke! When you're the one doing the scaring off, you know that you, you've won. Okay, I'm gonna get low for the mammoth. First things first, set him on fire. Then go with the arrow. All right. Then go with the arrow. Oh! So that's how it is. Oh! No way! I did not think I could actually kill a mammoth. I, I thought that was gonna have to take a while before I went. Oh my gosh, what is that? That looks like my neighbor's dog with mange, dude. It's 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 actually scary, I promise. That's apparently a rare one. I'll take it, dude. I'll stick and take it. Let's get a stick and a rare striped mammoth. If you want to support the channel and buy any kind of merch from Kindle Grave Wonder Comes I Shop, use promo code GAMING10, all caps. Also, if you're liking the Primal gameplay, go ahead and hit me a like and tell me down in the comments. If you didn't see the first episode where we played Primal, click right over here or right over here for my entire Red Dead Redemption playlist. Because if you like this game, you'll like that game too, I promise.